Here is BK42 and today I want to show you the new Akomile 1000 watt mid-drive mountain bike. First of all, I would like to thank my friends over Akomile for lending me this beautiful e-bike to make this series of videos. If you would like to get your very own, there will be the links in the description below. As usual, by the end of this video, you are going to get a very special promo code and free gifts for your e-bike. Let's get started. This is the new Akomile mid-drive mountain bike. With these huge and fat wheels, the bike looks amazing. From the pictures, it's really hard to see how big this bike really is. This is indeed a full suspension fat bike. The rear shock is simple with no adjustments such as rebound control or locker pin. It's pretty stiff and it can be easily upgraded according to your riding style. The motor is the Bafang BBS HD 1000 watts integrated inside the frame. The motor is very strong and the torque is amazing. 9 speeds with Shimano Autos means a lot more torque at the low end and still high speed at the top end. This is not an entry-level derailleur and shifting gears is fast and precise. Shifting gears is quite loud. I guess it's caused by the frame design. But there is nothing to worry about it. Jack brakes are hydraulic with motor inhibitors. The front rotor is 108mm and the rear 160mm. Good stopping power for a bike of this size and power. The front forks the durable and the long-lasting RST guide, with lockout and preload adjustments. It looks and performs really well. I'm really happy with the front suspension. The wheels are huge fat tires, 26x4. Perfect for all terrains including snow. Fat tires are safer and great shock absorbers. Very good option to ride in the snow as well. So let's talk about the display. The bike comes with the new TFT LSD 860 display. Very bright and easy to use. I really like the current indicator, the brake indicator and the USB charging port. We never know when we're gonna need an extra charge for our mobile phones. The integrated headlight is controlled by a display light sensor, turning the lights on and off automatically. There is no light switching button, but it can be turned on and off, pressing the plus button for a second. There are 9 levels of pedal assist in the total, but it comes only with 5 from the factory. I will post a new video showing how it can be unlocked for the maximum speed. The bike's also fitted with a throttle right here. And you can just press that at any time and the motor will spin right up. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with a gear shift sensor. It would make shifting gears even better. It's not expensive and the installation is simple. I would recommend to my friends in Nakomile to consider shipping new bikes with the sensor already installed. The battery is 48 volt, 12.8 amp hour with LG 18650 cells. The battery compartment is one of the coolest things about this bike. It looks clean and integrated into the frame. Removing the battery is a bit of trick, but once you learn how to do it, things will get a lot easier. And you have to learn it because there is no way to recharge the batteries inside the frame. You will need to extract the battery pack every recharging time. Integrated into the battery body is the cool on and off energy control. The key is used only to lock and unlock the battery compartment. It's not required to run the bike. Turning the bike on is pretty straightforward. Press the on and off button in the battery pack 
press and hold the on and off button located in the handlebar controls for about a second. The bike has a top speed of around 55 km per hour in a range of about 70 km pedaling. The maximum speed will drop drastically as the battery levels drain. Riding throttle only with the pedal assist level 9 will drain the battery quite quickly. We cannot forget the powerful and thirsty 1000W motor. Cycling this bike without a power supply is easy and fun as in any normal mountain bike. Top speed isn't the most important thing in this bike, but the full suspension and the high torque are very important for going down mountain biking style trails. The kickstand is strong and keeps the bike standing very well. Another thing I would consider replacing soon is the saddle. It looks good, it's well made, but unfortunately it's too hard for me. The handlebar is solid and it fits all components very well on its 72 cm. By the way, it comes with a nice bell. The bike is very well built, it is solid and all the joints are neatly welded together. This bike can be shipped from China, European Union and the USA. No worries about the important process or extra taxes. Once you place the order, the bike will be on your door shortly. Unboxing and assembling this bike is very simple, without any special tools or mechanical skills needed. You can watch me assemble this bike right here. If you are looking for an e-bike that's capable on-road and goes super fast, but also has a full suspension to go off-road, this can be the right bike for you. When I made this video, the bike cost $2,189, with taxes included and delivery free for United States, European Union and Asia. Akomayo Bikes offer these bikes in blue, silver, grey and white. Aoi bikes are covered with a 2 years warranty. As I promised in the beginning of this video, if you contact the representative and say that you are coming from the BK42 channel, you will get a gift of your choice, like an electric pump, USB rear LED lights, lock or a controller bag, plus a $20 discount coupon. All contacts and information will be in the description below. If you have any questions for me about anything I covered in this video, put in the comment section down below. I will make new videos about this bike and compare the rear hub motor to the mid-drive motor very soon. So please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell. Cheers!